Judith Jones, who was just here for the seminar as well, just recently said, uh, never ruin a good dish with a recipe. So, you know, there's certainly, I, I certainly appreciate cookbooks and I, I, I use them and, and refer to them a lot. I don't always just follow the recipe verbatim, but, but they're, they're useful. But your, your other book, uh, especially Ratio, mm -hmm. is about freeing yourself from mm -hmm. the, the recipe. Uh, do you see it as, how do you see it as a, as a uh, what's its relationship to cookbooks? Do you see it as an anti-cookbook or as a complement to a cookbook? Um, it's a cooking book. It's, it's about how cooking works. Um, cooking is very easy. There's, there's only about 20 basic things you need to know about all of cooking. And if you know those 20 things, then, then, then whether you're following a recipe that it has you braise something, then you know why you're braising it. That you braise tough cuts of meat. You wouldn't braise a, uh, uh, you don't braise a chicken breast, for mm -hmm. instance. Mm -hmm. um, it's understanding these fundamentals that make all cooking, whether you're doing it by recipe or not, uh, easier. I'm, I've, for a long time, I've said I hated cookbooks, um, and. I find myself astonished that, I, that I've <laughs> taken <laughs> such great right. part in so many cookbooks. <laughs> but I think people are too, too tied down by recipes, that mm -hmm. they're intimidated by recipes, that they, they, don't, they don't understand it. Like, th this bread recipe has me add the yeast to 110 degree water, where this says just throw all the yeast in. Why? I don't understand. Mm -hmm. When you know mm -hmm. the basics of things, you can... You can relax. You can even bake intuitively. Ratio shows you how to bake intuitively. Right, right. Yeah, a recipe can cause you to overthink it, I guess. Uh, ratio at first scared me a little bit. I'm not a baker. Why? Well, I'm not a baker, and, and I kind of got into it thinking, wow, you know, the, the, but, but the, the, the comforting thing is the further I read, the comforting thing was it's just going to happen that way every time. If, 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 if you combine those ingredients in that mm -hmm. manner and you combine them using correctly. Weight. Using yeah, weight. Using weight, which is a very good point. You, yeah. You're a big comp a proponent of weight versus measure. Yeah. And I think that's valuable. I, I've, I've taken that to heart and bought a scale. But, uh, but, good but, man. but, the, <laughs> but the, the comfort is that it's going to happen that way every time. And uh, I think that's, that's a good thing. Once you know those things, then you're more comfortable moving, moving ahead. Now, the elements of cooking I, I, is, is so comprehensive, it must have been difficult to even edit down those definitions to try to figure out what to define, what not to define. It was really fun figuring out what to define because I had to go through all of cooking in my head and I read, I read every word in the dictionary to see if it, it might apply. Um, <laughs> well, that, that's quite I, some research. I went, I went through and I just kept a track of everything that, that one needed to know. Now, it, there are, it, it, nothing could be completely comprehensive, but this is an opinionated guide of the key cooking terms opinionated version of what you need to know. For instance, bisque. You see, we people put like pumpkin bisque on a menu. Mm -hmm. It makes me so mad. A bisque is a shellfish soup. And to, to put a bisque there to suggest a, a texture uh -huh. pisses me off. It's the wrong use of the yeah. word. Yeah. yeah. I have to ask, you know, I, to me, these two books boil down the essentials so well I almost think if you were to master these two books, you've got a pretty pretty fundamental education from as if you'd gone to a culinary school. Um, I think so. Um, and there's another one coming out next year called 20. I talked about the 20 things you need to know. Uh -huh. Once you have that, um, don't spend don't spend thirty thousand dollars on a culinary <laughs> education. Well, I will vouch for that, and, and I, I will tell you that the elements of cooking and ratio are two indispensable books for anyone who loves to cook. And 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 your new book is coming out when? Uh, it'll be fall 2011 from Chronicle. Okay. All right. Uh, well, get these books if you uh, you you have to have these if you're going to be interested in cooking whatsoever. <laughs> this is Michael Ruhlman, <laughs> and welcome to Key West, Michael. We'll uh, we'll talk to you next time you're here. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Thanks. Thank you. Great welcome. All right.